In 2014, things changed in the United States with the first presentation of a patient with Ebola in Texas. And hospitals across the country were faced with trying to be ready for any kind of interaction with a patient who potentially would be infected with the Ebola virus. We were encouraged by both the Washington State Department of Health and the CDC to apply to be the Region 10 Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho Center of Expertise for Special Pathogens. By serving as this regional center for the country in this way, we have the opportunity to partner with remarkable medical centers. Emory University, Massachusetts General, Cedars-Sinai, many others. And that's really been a remarkable advantage to be able to share ideas and concepts and procedures so that we can all prepare the same way. One of the other key imperatives was to be able to provide care for all age groups and that included pediatric patients and the unique thing that we have here at Sacred Heart Medical Center is this expertise of the Children's Hospital. So we would be able to care for children here as well. Both adult and pediatric physicians are integrated in this process. There's adult critical care as well as pediatric critical care and infectious diseases. We have ongoing training and meetings regarding special pathogens and how to deal with them and how to integrate these services to provide the best care for patients with special pathogens and protect the staff and community. We have a team of 35 caregivers consisting of nurses and respiratory therapists who go through regular training, drills, and exercises. We also incorporate the different departments in the hospital with workers from the Environmental Services Department, from security, and we include our workers from the lab so that we are all practicing and training regularly all the protocols that we've put into place to keep everybody safe as they care for a patient that's highly infectious. We have a 12 bed unit where each of those rooms are negative airflow rooms or airborne infection isolation rooms. And then we also have a lab that's designated for our special pathogens unit, and it is also a negative airflow lab. And then we have two rooms that are critical care rooms, and each of those critical care rooms have their own doffing rooms. We designed the room specifically so that we would have good visualization of our patients and also of our healthcare workers so that there's somebody observing them all the time to make sure they are safe. In the event that we needed to run lab work on our patient, we have a lab here in the special pathogens unit that is designated just for this unit. The labs would be brought down in a cooler down the hallway and put through a special pass-through window and then we would have two lab technicians in the lab being able to perform the tests. One would perform the test while the other one would be monitoring that lab technician to make sure they were safe. The uniqueness of this unit is it is physically situated away from the mainstream of the hospital, away from the hustle and bustle of the emergency department and the main entrances of the hospital, so that it is very secluded and it's secure to keep our healthcare workers safe and to keep that patient safe and to keep the infectious patients away from the other patients in the medical center. It is a locked unit in that the only people that would have access to the unit in the event that we were activated would be the actual team members who have gone through all the training of how to care for a highly infectious patient. Hey, we are prepared to receive a patient within eight hours of notification, but the likelihood of us receiving a special pathogens patient is pretty low. So we don't want this space to sit idle. So we can use it for training and education purposes, doing drills with our team, but we can also use this space for overflow for the hospital when there's high census. We know that infectious disease patients are gonna come no matter what, and uh, with the extra level of preparedness and safety, 
I believe that we can care for the patients safer, not only for the community, but also for the caregivers. Our mission is to care for the poor and the vulnerable. And our country, our patients, our community could potentially be vulnerable for any special pathogen. You can never control what's going to happen or what presents at your emergency room or your clinics or your urgent cares. Planning to be ready to get someone and to have expertise in the field and access to other experts was the right decision for us, which has culminated in the new special pathogens unit here at Sacred Heart Medical Center.